I don't know, I honestly just get a lot of anxiety going back to work. If you didn't know, Korea has a lot of these random outside exercise equipment for exercising outside for free. And that's Korea in general. Korea in general has outside exercise equipment every couple of blocks and neighborhoods but I like Sejong the best because Sejong is new by uh, speaking on the anxiety inducing situation honestly that's kind of over with <laughs> I kind of manifested this person leaving my department and I didn't know how it was gonna happen because you know in my head I don't I couldn't think of a specific situation for the person to just up and leave the department but I just decreed it like pretty much the end of the semester I just knew I wasn't gonna be doing the same thing for another semester it's my last year teaching probably indefinitely but at least it's my last year for sure for sure teaching it in Sejong so I just knew I was not doing that another semester and ruining my last year teaching and so I pretty much just said it out loud like this person is leaving the English department this person won't be on top of me next semester and lo and behold come to find out like right before I went back to school I got some messages saying this person left the department and at least in my four years of teaching that's kind of different to just switch mid-year, like switch positions. So, God is good, y'all. God is good. And because of that, I know I have nothing to worry about. I am powerful, okay? I don't care what anyone says. I know what I'm doing. But just in general, guys, if you come to teach in Korea, in general, just know not everyone's gonna like you. And you can't really change some people's minds if they have a fixed opinion on foreigners, foreign teachers. It doesn't matter how hard you work. Like some people just don't actually care to uh, give you a chance if they have a preconceived notion on what foreigners are like or foreign teachers are like, if they had a whole bunch of experiences with like bad teachers, it's kind of just like you're gonna be lumped in <laughs> a group with a bunch of people you never met before in life. And so just do your work mind your business because that's another thing they will play games <laughs> they will play games do not give out too much information do not say too many things about yourself because you might see it as like face value like oh yeah I like to do this sometimes on a weekend once in a blue moon it's fun seeing my friends and then they completely might take that out of context and be like, oh, yeah, there's proof that this person is so-and-so. Like, anyone could take one little thing and run with it. <laughs> Honestly, truly, I'm not used to that. And so, when I first got to Korea, 
like if a co-worker will ask me a question like oh what are you doing I would say the truth <laughs> thinking <laughs> you know it's not a big deal like who will take one little thing and then build a whole personality like have a whole bunch of preconceived notions about you off of that one little thing I definitely don't want to spook anyone though so don't think okay <laughs> don't think you can't make friends with co-workers because one of my best Korean friends was one of my co-teachers for six months that's another day <laughs> you might switch co-teachers every six months Jeez Louise just because of um, like random school happenings some teachers might get pregnant and then your co-teacher might get moved around because of that so don't get too comfortable but yeah <laughs> you can still make friends with co-workers but um definitely feel out the situation before you get too chummy and overshare because I remember as well like my first year all of the women everyone was women <laughs> in the English department but they were all like around the same age as me I was like 26 at the time so they were all like 26 27 so you know you get comfortable we're all the same age and they were all like super friendly but then come to find out later on in the year that there was like office drama they were kind of fighting over who would get the positions to co-teach with the native english speaker teacher because they wanted to practice english they just wanted to use me to practice english and so i'm thinking they're being super friendly and just welcoming when really they needed to practice english for different reasons all of them had different reasons for needing to enhance their english speaking skills and it was just kind of all really fake <laughs> I just wanted to teach English <laughs> and then I was kind of being used as a pawn and that can happen a lot you'll think one thing and really underneath it all they want you to tutor somebody in English help someone literally I most of my co-workers that got close with me would later on ask me for favors whether it was uh what do you call it overlooking their friends essays because their friend was like in a english university in an english-speaking country and so they wanted me to correct their papers for free correct their papers and make it sound more you know natural for free or it was helping them study English because they wanted to study abroad for free <laughs> or they wanted me to help them study English for one of their hobbies what have you all of this is for free or I guess you could say it's an exchange for their friendship which I, I don't need to work for friends I got friends that I don't have to do free labor for uh, so be aware of that <laughs> just be aware and don't do anything for free